Hello, I'm Pastor Dan Roth, and I want to welcome you to the Rock Church and World Outreach Center online. And today I want to talk to you about the fact that Jesus heals. So many people are concerned and worried about their physical health. But I've got good news for you, and the good news is that Jesus heals. The Bible tells us that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And even though Jesus isn't walking the earth today, Even though Jesus is seated at the right hand of God in heaven, Jesus is still moving on the earth today, and Jesus still heals. If you have a Bible, I'd like you to go and get a hold of that Bible. Maybe you have a paper version that you can get a hold of and take a look at some scriptures with me. Or maybe you've got uh, some uh, scriptures on your phone, maybe a tablet, that sort of a thing. But wherever you're going to get your scriptures from, get ready because God wants to speak to you. And one of the primary ways that God speaks to us is from the Bible. Matthew chapter number 8 is a great chapter in the Bible speaking about the healing power of God. And it shows us when Jesus was here on the earth how he healed people. And I'm going to read to you from the New Living Translation, okay? So maybe you have a different version. Maybe you've got the King James Version or a New International Version. That's okay. Find Matthew chapter number 8. But I'm going to start reading in verse number 2, and I'm going to read down through verse number 3. It says this. It says, Suddenly, a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Notice that the man knew that Jesus had power to heal, but what he didn't know was whether or not Jesus had the will to heal. Will you heal me? Lots of people would acknowledge that God is powerful and that he can heal, but they want to know, God, will you heal me? Look at the response of Jesus in verse number three. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. This shows me that Jesus is willing to to heal you. You need to know that today. And if you're struggling in your physical body, Jesus is willing to heal you. It goes on in Matthew chapter 8, verse number 5, and down through verse number 10. Now I'm going to read this in the New King James Version. And it says, Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and I will heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. For I am also a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith not even in Israel. Drop down to verse number 13. It says, Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way. As you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed from that same hour. You know, this shows me that Jesus meets us at our level of faith. You know, the leper had faith to come and to be touched. The centurion had faith that all Jesus needed to do was to speak a word. Wherever your level of faith is at, maybe you've only got a little bit of faith. That's okay. Jesus will meet you right where you're at. Jesus touched the leper and spoke the word to the servant, yet both were healed. And wherever your faith is at, Jesus right now wants to meet you there. You can have someone pray and lay hands on you, or you can simply pray and believe for your healing, and God himself will heal you. Matthew chapter 8, verse number 16 and 17 goes on in the New King James Version. It says, When evening had come, they brought him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with the word and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. You know what that shows me? Healing is for you. Healing is for everyone. This is not just something that's exclusive. No, Jesus wants to heal everybody. And if you're sick in your physical body, why don't you right now just take a moment and maybe take your hand and place it wherever you're feeling sick. Maybe maybe it's not an area that maybe you really want to touch or maybe it's something internal that you really don't know what's going on. Just put that hand on your head and just say right now, Jesus, I believe that you have the power and the will to heal me. Would you please touch me and heal me in Jesus' name? You know, beyond our physical healing, Jesus also cares about our spiritual well-being. And Jesus wants you to know that he loves you and he went to the cross and he died for you. It's not just enough to know that. You have to receive that gift. And if you haven't yet invited Jesus to be the Lord and Savior of your life, rescuing you from your sin, redeeming you back to himself, and giving you eternal life in heaven with him, denying your presence in hell, I want you to just take a moment and pray a prayer with me. Just bow your head and close your eyes and say, Dear Jesus, would you come into my heart? Be my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me of my sin. Cleanse me of my past and give me a future with you. I believe that you are the Son of God, that you came, that you died, and you were raised again to life just for me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
If you just prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of God. I want to encourage you to go to rockchurch.com on our homepage and find the tab at the bottom that says respond to God. Fill out the information and we will send you back some free information to help you to get strong in the ways of the Lord. Also, join us for streaming services online at rockchurch.com forward slash live. We love you guys. God bless you.